you guys and welcome back to my month's favorite. Today is October favorites. So first thing is a website. It's called Redbubble and is an I have to read. Oh, oh, oh. So is an online art community featuring wall art, design, photography and t-shirts by artists worldwide and you can both buy or sell your art and you can find basically everything from stationery to t-shirts, travel mugs and I bought this it keeps your beverages really really hot and obviously you can choose with any image you want I went with this, which is the um, obviously Sherlock's um, wallpaper. I don't know if you can recognize it. Another thing I bought on this website is this t shirt. There are so many t shirts about <laughs> uh, Benedict Cumberbatch or Sherlock or any TV series actually, but I wanted this. This t-shirt came up with this label which is very cute. Um, it says cold wash only, don't tumble dry, don't iron print and don't slap pandas. <laughs> and the other side says welcome to your splendid new body covering created just for you by an, an independent artist and carefully printed by happy people in matching socks. So the prices are basically like every online website so go check it out. Next item which is not another item <laughs> it's an hostel. I've been to London uh, two weeks ago and it was my second experience in a hostel. The first one wasn't really nice it was for the Sherlock event but this one I'm really really happy to have found this hostel uh, we were, me and my cousin, we were in a room with 22 people. Maybe you, you hear, oh, we have to sleep with 22 people. Oh my gosh, I can't, really? No, it's fine. If you are young, you want to travel, save money, definitely go here. And then downstairs there is an, a bar where you, every morning there is breakfast. It's, there is a wide range of things to eat, so it's so lovely. and. The furnitures, oh my god, it's so cozy. I show some images here. The owners are so nice. It's in Waterloo, 10 minutes walk by the Waterloo station, so you can go basically everywhere. And you just have to pass under a tunnel, and in five minutes, less than five minutes you are under the London Eye so it's really in the city center I'll leave you in the description below their website today I feel like it's not an item um, are not objects but basically only websites uh, so this website is called Letters Live it's also on YouTube and it's a TV program where a lot of performances like actors, singers on, or famous people read letters from the past. I want to read this. It's called Dear Friend. The background of this story is this. Uh, in 1950, English actress Hermione Gingold appeared on stage in London alongside Hermione Badley in Fallen Angels, a comedy in which controversially at the time the two female leads contemplate adultery. Gingold soon received a threatening letter from a disgusted member of the public with no address at which to aim a reply. Gingold instead responded with a letter that was reprinted in her 1952 book. So, the letter says Dear Madam, Unless something is done at once about your disgusting exhibition in the filthy play you appear in every night, I and several of my friends will do something very unpleasant about it. What you and your co-partner Hermione Baddeley do nightly in public is a slur on English womanhood. Fallen Angels is disgusting as a play, but your performance in it makes it loathsome. 
How the powers that be could permit such an exhibition is past the understanding of a God-fearing woman who supports the present government and thanks God for them. I give you fair warning to leave the play or it will be the worst for you. Our wrath will strike at you in your home or maybe during a performance at the theatre. A dot friend. This is the reply. Ambassador's Theatre, WC2, April 14th. Dear old friend, how clever and capricious you are cloaking yourself in anonymity and I must confess I cannot for the life of me guess which of my many friends you can be. You have sent my head spinning and my imagination whirling. Could you be found among my dear friends, intimate friends, close friends, childhood friends, pen friends, family friends, friend of a friend, friends in distress, friends who are closer than a brother, Friends in need or school friends? Your letter quite clearly shows that you are not illiterate and therefore we can rule out my school friends. Your masterly command of the language banishes the thought that you could be found among my friends from overseas. Your witty criticism of my performance makes me think that I might find you among my nearest and dearest bosom friends. That is if you that is, if you did not choose to address me as dear madam. A clever move this, and one that reduces my last thought to mere stupidity and due to a casual acquaintance, and yet I must banish the thought, casual acquaintance. For how many people are there in London today who realize that my co-partner, as you wittily dub her, is none other than Hermione Baddeley? And by the way, she wants me to thank you for the facsimile letter you sent her and say that she is getting on the on in ears and feeble and is not able to attend to her correspondence as she would wish and so she cannot answer your letter personally an awful thought has dawned it is all a joke and you aren't really my friend at all i must try to dismiss their thought it depresses me to lose a friend like you in few words so, dear anonymous friend, if this should chance to meet your eye, please keep your promise and come around one night. Yes, and bring your friends too, for I know intuitively that your friends will be my friends. Cordially yours, Hermione Gingold. P.S. If you wish to strike at me with your wrath in my home, I'm always in between 10.30 and 12 in the morning, excluding Tuesday, which is a bad day, is a lot of tiresome and traps people call for the same reason. You will easily recognize my apartment for, apart from the number 85 marked in plain figures on the door, over the knocker there is a notice, strike twice and wait, bell out of order. And for today we finished, I hope you enjoy this mini video and you maybe check some of the website that I left you and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and see you as always next week. Bye!